Hi viewers, so today we're back in the tackle room and answering some of the questions that, that come in to us. So one of the things that have come in quite frequently actually, and I said I'll get a video sorted for it, was just how I clean my pole, what I do with my joints to preserve them, to keep them all in good order, um, and, and just how I wipe it down and how I clean it and that kind of thing. So I'll do a, a, quite a short video on that today. Here it goes. Items that I use to clean my pole. So first and foremost really is when I'm cleaning my pole, regardless of where I'm putting it, um, if you're doing it kind of in the garden is ideal and you can put it on the grass and stuff like that, that's fine. If it's quite horrible weather and you're in a tackle room or a garage or your shed or whatever, um, always make sure you can put it secure. Don't leave your pole sort of standing up against the wall or anything like that and um, where it can fall over. Make sure you put it nice and secure. So for me today, as you can see here, I've got it actually set on, on my rollers. It's on my rollers. It's not going to fall off anywhere and as I'm cleaning my pieces, I can put them back on there. They're not going to roll onto the floor. I'm not going to stand on them. No accidents are going to happen. So make sure in this process you keep your pole nice and safe. The other thing is to wipe them down with. I just use normal wipes, so baby wipes, or these ones are Tesco's own. Um, nice, and, nice and simple wipes really. Just to keep them, um, just to keep it nice and clear, nice and clean. Um, I don't use anything else on it. I don't spray it with Mr. Sheen or any kind of varnish or, or polish or anything like that. I literally just wipe it down nice and simple and leave it to dry naturally. Um, and then sometimes I'll just give it a quick wipe over with a clean towel. And um, that way you, you're not going to scratch anything. You're not putting any chemicals on there that, di that damage the, you know, in my case, the, the diamond satin finish that comes on the Daiwa poles. Um, and you keep everything in good order just like new. The other thing for the for the joints is I put a light coating of wax on the joints and this is not spray or anything like that, this is really really simple. All I do is I, I take a tea light candle, nice simple tea light candle, and I take the um, the wick and the metal bit out of the inside, okay, you can see that there. So I take it out of the inside so that there's no metal in there so that I don't scratch um, the pole in any way. And all I need to do then is just to, to wax the joints and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so I'll show you just nice and simple on my number five section here. As you can see, it's um, it's got quite grubby over fishing over recent times. It starts to get a lot of bits and crumbs and things like that on it. Okay, um, from slimy hands and you know bait and stuff like that. So I literally just give it a really nice thorough clean. Again, just using dead simple, dead simple wipe, including the joint on the end. Okay, just so that it's free from grit, it's not going to get any rubbish stuck in it, and you can get everything nice and clean. Some some bits on it you'll find you will need to just rub it a little bit more, but it will clean up really good just using the, the wipe. And the trick is not to have to, you know, bash your pole or squeeze it or anything like that too much. You just be able to get it nice and clean. Okay, now obviously in my case I've got the pole nose bones in um, at the end, so it's not a, an area that I need to worry about on that particular end. If you haven't, if you've not got um, bungs in the end of your pole, just get the white down the inside of that, give it a nice clean round just to make sure there's no grit or anything on the inside. Um, but obviously if you've got bungs you don't need to worry about the, the male end of your pole. However, on the female end of your pole you still need to have a little look at it. So like I said, just get that wipe in the end, give it a nice white round, like so. And it just keeps it free of any rubbish. Okay, just like that. And then you can keep everything nice and clean. Okay, so when it comes to, to waxing the male end of the joint, like I said, I just use a tea light candle. It's it's just nice, it's normal soft wax, and you can you can see where I've used it before. Uh, that's why it's the shape that it is. Okay, and all I do, it's just a, a light, I'm not pressing down hard or anything, it's like colouring in. Just like colouring in. So I just give it a nice little coating of wax, just up and down, not pressing hard nice and light, turning the joint in my hand as I go and give it a couple of times round 
just like so, okay? And then just smooth off any bits like that. And you can feel as you run your hand over the end of it there, you can feel that there's a little thin layer of wax. And what that'll do is it'll keep all your joints nice and secure. It stops them sticking, especially when it's wet. And obviously it gives that a little bit of protection as well, should you get any grit or any other bits and bobs, um, you know, on the inside of the other section if you pull. So when you put them together, you don't want to be scratching your carbon. Okay, so that's how I clear my pull. That's how I wax the joints on there. That's how I keep everything um, the way it needs to be. It's a really, really good tip. I hope that's helped. Make sure, obviously, you let it dry nice and naturally. And obviously, then, when it's fully dry, you can pack it away. Um, and it's job done. Everything's ready for the next session on the bank. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you on the bank soon.